We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. We're at our neighbor's house right now. Aren't we, babe? Yes. Hello. And you guys remember Tristan, right? <laughs> Mushroom enthusiast. Yes, yes, yes. There's actually a big pile of, uh, I think it's reishi right over there to your right. Oh, yeah. And then this is uh, the tea that I made from that stuff the other day. Didn't kill me. Did not send me to the Pleiades or anything. I'm still here. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Very calming, soothing effects. There's actually a pot of it right over here. Effects. Yes, no hallucinogenic effects. I still remember my name. I did not enter the birthing canal again. I'm still here. <laughs> and we got your partner right here. Yes, I uh, introducing the raw chef. Hello, hello. Jessica. Hello. Ah! <laughs> I want to demystify eggplant. Ah. This lovely thing here. Because I never knew what to do with it. And come down here and find that the garden is overflowing with all these huge eggplants. So. Yeah, so before we tried to do a concoction with the eggplant, it didn't work, so we got the raw chef expert here to <laughs> make it all happen. So we're excited about that. Yeah, inspired by what my mom used to do a lot when she cooked eggplants. She would do kind of a stuffing, Italian-flavored, spicy blend type of thing. So we're going to try for a eggplant cracker with some Italian seasoning, shredded sunflower dip goodness wow. all together. Um, and I think the secret is really to chop up the eggplant a little bit, um, put it in a colander like this, and just throw salt on it, kind of mixing it around with your fingers. And I don't know if you can tell in the video, but you see it'll get real wet like that. And that's all the, I don't know, enzymes getting activated, things waking up and breaking up and opening. And then put it here in this little bowl with some olive oil and garlic, toss it together and let it sit for, this has been sitting for a while, but maybe an hour. You can flip it over halfway through. How did you prepare the garlic? I just chopped it. Just chopped garlic, thin chopped? No, it's just minced. Okay, minced garlic. Yeah. So it's marinated? Yes, exactly. Cool. Exactly. Um, and then we come to the shredded sunflower seed pate dip sauce with maybe a cup of sunflower seeds. Um, let's see what's going on there. There's a red onion, lots of garlic. Tristan and I <laughs> eat garlic like apples. They do. So. Garlic and all orifices. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right, you mentioned. <laughs> so there's probably about a head of garlic in there. Wow. No pressure on anyone to <laughs> follow suit. Um, it gives it a spiciness, the garlic. Right. It's a really good spicy flavor. Right, but if you're not used to it, it could be a little, little forte. <laughs> so um, maybe start with two, three, take it from there, test it. Um, onion, basil, and this has the most beautiful flower in it. You can see that, just little layers, like How much basil did you put in there, just a little bit? I did probably a cup, and I did two different types of basil. We have this one too. Put some flowers in, they're so pretty. Yeah. So the way we usually make recipes is we don't really use measurements. We just toss in whatever we've got and kind of make right. little concoctions. You know, I mean, measuring it for some people, they appreciate it if you have measurements and stuff, but we're all about the eyeballing and just doing whatever we feel is good, using what we have and what we love. So. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's an ongoing drama of our TV show. <laughs> So, it's just, it's so hard because everybody has their own unique palette that you're working with. And so I can't, what I'm going to enjoy is very different than what Tristan may enjoy, or what you guys may enjoy, or anybody else. So it's really, and it's part of that alchemical process too, is you're putting all your totally. energy. <laughs> <laughs> you're putting your energy into it so it, it fits you and it gives you your nutrients and your life force. 
Well, and then how about this? I mean, it's not like every piece of garlic is equally strong. Right. Not every right. piece of eggplant tastes the same. So if you go to a restaurant and they're using the same ingredients every single time, the same amount of ingredients, you're not going to get the same taste necessarily every time because all these fruits and vegetables, they're not all created equal. Um, so. Right. so I'm squeezing half of a luscious lemon. And I also, turmeric mm -hmm. is a little secret ingredient, one of my favorite herbs. Um, I put some of that in there, as well as some black pepper. Why do you like turmeric? <laughs> I'm a big fan of the anti-inflammatory properties and the support it delivers to my organs and the huge anti-cancer benefits that people receive. And the taste isn't bad, too. And the taste is <laughs> very good. Now nice look at you be eating raw. <laughs> We've been on this journey for about two and a half years, three years? Two and a half. Two and a half years. Not like all raw, straight up. We've been going, it's anything. been a roller coaster. Yeah. And Ups and downs, rounds and rounds. It's about doing what's working now and always being open. Yeah. yeah. It's been fun. So, in addition to the basil, I put in some fresh oregano. And I prefer the fresh herbs, but dried wood, I'm sure, work as well. Where do you get your protein from? <laughs> <laughs> All these greens and the kale and nuts. Well, and then coconuts. And Look the right coconuts. outside. We've got 75 coconuts out in the front door. <laughs> but greens are abundant with protein. And I believe the protein in meat, a lot of that, when you cook it and you heat it, it gets decreased by 50% or something astronomical. So... Greens, nuts. Um, I was just out in the garden picking the herbs and the eggplant, and I was inspired by these huge kale trees. They're just massive, taller than I am. So I had to pick some and give my thanks. Put it all in here. And I think we're ready to blend. Yeah. I need to add some water. Let's see how it goes. olive oil garlic sauce. Couldn't throw it away. So I grabbed some peppers and tomatoes, uh, bell peppers for some sweetness, and some the medley of hot peppers that we have here today. And chopped those up and there's a whole food spicy dip. And sun-dried tomatoes also. Mm. See, good thing I laid everything out. <laughs> <laughs> You guys just missed a total brawl here about what should go in and what shouldn't go in. <laughs> Between Jessica and Tristan. Who was the winner though? I think Jessica was. I don't know. That's a bit of a compromise for everybody. <laughs> we usually do that when we're making stuff. Jessica will, uh, she'll start out and do like the base of it and she'll ask me my opinion, which she usually doesn't really want. Um, it's just like a polite thing. And I'll tell her, oh, I think it needs this or this. And she'll tell me, no, it doesn't. And I'll usually end up throwing it in there anyways. But, um, but yeah, you know it's all about happens? the taste test for us. Like, you just got to taste it, see if it works. I think before you put things in the dehydrator, they should be really flavorful because it loses it when it's in there. It seeps around and it loses a lot of that flavor. So if something's less, I, I, it's better if it's more flavorful than you want than less flavorful, in my opinion. That's true. So while we had that little break, I added more, added some more sea salt, and I added more turmeric. Um, maybe there's a tablespoon of turmeric in there now? Quite a bit. Well, the impression I got was, you know, Jessica, like,
starts the recipe and she actually makes it all happen and then Tristan comes around and starts <laughs> starts messing it all up. <laughs> no. I guess that's kind of how you put it. See, I would say I come and fix it. I'm the fixer upper. That's what I do. And, uh, do you do you ever do you ever make your own recipes? Well, yes. Like what? Like like cutting open coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> I make this great thing. It's it's uh, it's called coconut water. You just open up the coconut, you pour it in the blender, pour yourself a cup. It's really good. There you go. But um, I make a lot of desserts. I'm kind of the dessert guy. I make like mango pies, pie crusts, pie fillings. That's true. Yeah. Jessica's not as not as into the sweets as I am. So. So here, it's all laying out. And then we have a nice green sunflower spice mixture in there. And I kind of just dollop a spoonful or so onto it. Mm. And you can choose, there's a f two different ways that I've done this. Um, either leaving it in the dehydrator overnight for a longer period of time and you get this really nice cracker, which could be good if you have kids and you're trying to give them more raw things, more vegetables. Um, really nice cracker and it almost has a parmesan cheesy taste the way the topping dries or you could do it more as a raw pasta type of thing if you leave it in for a few hours maybe four five hours leave it in and it'll be chewy mm. um, kind of creamy i call it raw violi Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of like an Italian, it's like a spicy Italian flavor. It almost tastes like, like spicy Italian sausage or something like that. Wow. And when you eat it when it's slightly soft, it's really good. It tastes like ravioli because, you know, you get the soft shell with the inside gooey crunchiness. But um, either way, I mean, if you leave it in overnight, they're great. Really right. good, salty, spicy crackers. And I like to sprinkle a little bit of cayenne on top mm -hmm. as a cracker. Ooh. Super special. Should I but do that while you do this? If you're sure. If you're feeling a little more gourmet and like you have some more patience and want to go for the pasta type, you can have a <laughs> you can get a, a thinner slice. Sparky Sorry. No. <laughs> I get to see that at all time. It's beautiful. Um, so I'm just sprinkling the cayenne on there, giving a little pinch. Don't want to make it too much. Because we're also doing a pepper marinade type of thing. So have a thinner slice like this, and then you can just put it and then fold mm -hmm. it on top and dehydrate it like that, wow. and you get a little pocket. How come you didn't do that last time? <laughs> because... What's going on here? It's a little more work. That's <laughs> what so it comes down to. She has really, really lazy fingers. Her fingers are <laughs> weak, and they just, they can't, you know, it's because she doesn't need enough animal protein, so her uh, fingers aren't yeah. straight. No, I'm just kidding. Damn, okay. I toss. <laughs> I'll fold some of these here. Wow. You can see this one's nice and thin. And the, the marinating helps them be more flaccid. So. Do you think I could try one right now? Do you think it'd be good if I just ate it wet? Yeah, try it. Yeah. All right. Try this okay. one. I want this one. pretty good as is. A little bitter though, no? It's not that bad. I think people a lot of times have issues with eggplant with the bitterness. Hmm. And I find hmm. that the, the sweating really helps release whatever's going on. I don't taste any bitterness at all, actually. It tastes kind of, um, it tastes salty and soft, like, a, like when you take zucchini and marinate it, it almost tastes just oh. like that. It's really good. I prefer them dehydrated, but they're still good raw. And when they're dehydrated, it's very important to chew thoroughly. <laughs> so here, I was just going to put this aside, and we can make this pepper blend. Did you want to show people how to make it sweat? Oh, or? yeah. This guy's here. Go. So the visual to make the eggplant sweat, here we'll do a nice thin slice or so. And in half, and you keep going. This is why I did thicker slices, it's just a bit easier. Here. And then 
And I do it kind of as a layer, because we're working with this bowl here. So I'll sprinkle in some sea salt, and then just kind of scrub it in, swish it around little by little. And then you let it sit for 30 minutes. And that's it, huh? And that's it. Cool. Then you marinate it. Right on. That's right. And who do we got there? Jessica Lee. And? Oh, hey, Tristan. And? And Matt Monarch trying to make eggplant work. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.